Welcome back team. We're going to be looking at the SQL Server data type TinyInt. The first thing I need to do is I'm going to create a table called TST TinyInt test M. And we're just going to put one column in there of type TinyInt. It's important to know that TinyInt is for an integer value between 0 and and 255. So you can put 0, you can put 255. So from 0 all the way to 255 is available for this data type. Inside of this create table command, I also used on a column not null. Not null means this field's required. It does not allow you to type in a null value into the column. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to execute this create table DDL statement. I'm going to refresh my table object and notice that we have our one column. I'm now going to do my first test to see if this not null is valid and of course cannot insert a value null into column age because we said not null. This is required. Null means absence of value. If I do a select statement on this table right now, I will get no data. So what I would like to do first is test the boundaries of this type. And it, we told you that it went from zero, insert, to 255. And there you can see that I've typed in the boundaries. Now, any number in between 0 and 255 works. So let's kind of go in the middle, about like a 135. That's in there. So any number from 1 to 254. Any number in between that is a good number. And so far, these keep going in there because they're successful. But when I go outside the boundaries of that 0 and 255, that's when we get failed. So any negative number is going to fail. And any number greater than 255 is going to fail. So 256 is going to fail. And there you have it. We've just explained the data type tiny in I've shown you how to use the insert statement to put in values between 0 and 255 